This is the grass pitch of the Catriot Park Stadium. It used to be the home to the Estonian national team. Nowadays, it's the home to Levadia and to Kalju. On Saturday, on this grass, Levadia and Kalju will clash with each other for one of the three biggest city derbies. But it won't be just a city derby. This will be very important for the table. Levadia have 72 points and Kalju are sitting behind with 69. Levadia approached this derby after alternate fortunes, injuries, the departure of Vladislav Ivanov from the squad and the match-fixing rumours looming over the squad's morale. However, it's the recent form that earned Levadia the first spot at the expenses of Flora. Five wins out of five. They will recover Tony Tipulic in the defence and Igor Subotin for the strikers line. It will probably be fielded alongside Ingemar Tever in the usual 4-4-2 setup. Last week in Tartu, Marco Cristo offered a 4-2-3-1 with Tever up front and Ecotam on the right flank. This time we will go back to his credo, 4-4-2. And we will see back Podolusion on the fullback position on the right. And then the choice is between either defensive route set to stop Ken Callas the Forays or to give another chance to the former Tartuvia. Considering the international break is behind the corner, it is quite likely Crystal will give more time to Elusieni to recover from his ankle twist and have him ready for the ultimate derby against Flora on the Russu. Vuko Bratovic is still out due to a broken arm and we remind you that under-21 talent Artur Rattel is the long-term injury at the squad. No player is suspended. However, Artyom Artunin and Artur Pick shall be capable as they are one card away from suspension. Last season, on this side, Krugrov scored the goal that gave Levadia the title. Kaljule tagasi pranstane alla on Kimbalu Laam, kes 79. minuti läheb ära vaespendeldanud palli sisse lõi. Kuid mängu ja suure tõenäosusega meistritiitli saatuse otsustas kohtumise viimasel minutil koondislane Kruglov, kes kõmmutas Levadia 2-1 võidu värava. This year, the protagonist could be Igor Subotin. Not only in the eyes of Marco Krista, the coach of Levadia, but also in the eyes of the fans. Igor has scored 23 goals this season, only seven shy of Premier League top scorer Evgeny Kabayev. He can either unsettle the Kalju defensive setup, second best defense in Premier League, or set up others to do that. Certainly, he can art the defensive backline. Last weekend, the late win in Ale Coccarena was a cocktail of morale boost and push on to the next challenge. Also, their season has been with alternate fortunes, with the chapter injuries playing a big role in lineup problems. In the easy tie of the Estonian Cup, Igor Prince could test several reserves and also second team players. We could see back onto first team football Pihon Shishov, the former international and also Nicola Galpin, the French left fullback. But we cannot forget about Henri Purg, who had several good uh, fixtures in the Premier League and took uh, the challenge in the Europa League, giving a very good impression and having a very good impact in all the games he played. The choice will be between these three people in the lineup for Saturday. But we see Tihon Shishov having a better advantage, let's say 70%, against 20% for Henri Purg and just 10% for Nicolas Galpin. After all, Galpin is a left full back and it will be very hard to remove Ken Kallaste from his left full back role. However, it's not all. Since Kalius top scorer and most inspiring player, Japanese Hidetoshi Wakui, will miss out on suspension. Mikrenta is back instead. However, we doubt he will move Rodriguez out of his deservedly earned place in the starting eleven. Kimbalula and Quintieri are the usual names in the infirmary room. Reginald, Bunk, Rodriguez and Puri are all one card away from suspension. Felipe Nunes. He must be. The history tells it. He will be the veteran player on the pitch the one that has scored for each side, the legendary foreigner of Cali. It is the very first moment of the season 
when Felipe can write his name in the history book of non Mechanico. He shall forget about doing complicated things and should play simple and exploit the spaces that Armon Emel opens up for him. After all, Bunk and Reginald will do all the dirty job in the back line. Oh, come on, guys, what is that? It's almost four o'clock and that's the same light that we will have at four o'clock on Saturday for the derby. All you have to do is just to show up here, Cadillac Park Stadium at 4 p.m. The game will be also broadcast by ETV and Rumori di Spogliatoio will be here to report as usual. Angelo Palmeri, Rumori di Spogliatoio, Cadillac.